Welcome to the Grinding Doc video series. In this first episode, Dr. Jeffrey Badger, who authors Cutting Tool Engineering's Ask the Grinding Doc column, addresses a common question regarding coolant. What flow rate do you recommend? Well, I visit a lot of companies, and they think that if they've got gobs of coolant coming out of their nozzles, they're doing well. And that's really just not the case. I really don't care so much about flow rate. Really what I'm interested in is coolant velocity. During grinding, we have what's called the hot spot. That's the region where temperatures are very high. So if we're going to cool effectively, we've got to get coolant to that hot spot. Now, if we're going to do that, we've got to get coolant within those little pores of the wheel. The wheel's spinning at, let's say, 40 meters a second, 8,000 surface feet a minute. So our coolant has to be going at 40 meters per second or 8,000 surface feet a minute to penetrate the air barrier to get within the pores of the wheel and allow that wheel to carry it to the hot spot. Now, there's a very direct relationship between velocity and pressure. It has nothing to do with flow rate. If you know the pressure, you know the velocity. If you know the velocity, you know the pressure. So here's a chart that I use very frequently. I say, okay, what's the wheel speed? Let's say 40 meters a second, 8,000 surface feet a minute. So go up and say, okay, what pressure do we need to match that wheel speed? We get that pressure, we know that we've matched that wheel speed. And somewhere between, let's say, 80% to 110% of the wheel speed is fine. It doesn't have to be exact, but somewhere reasonably close. Now, how do we know what pressure or where to measure that pressure? We use a pressure gauge. I don't want a pressure gauge down in the basement where the main coolant supply is. I don't want a pressure gauge on the back of the machine or where the pump is. I want a pressure gauge right at the outlet or within an inch or 25 millimeters of that outlet. Stick a pressure gauge on there. See what pressure you have. It's a very good chance it will be much lower than you think. Um, take action to get that pressure up if you need to, usually through smaller nozzles. Get the pressure that corresponds to the wheel velocity, boom, you're done. Your flow rate will probably take care of itself and you really only need a surprisingly low flow rate in order to have enough flow rate. So instead of flow rate, I'm not really interested in flow rate, I'm interested in velocity and therefore I'm interested in pressure.